this series, I'll be going over theories and examples of how to create the best possible texture maps for PBR, that's physically based rendering, engines without expensive software and comparing it to the results from expensive software. I'm going to start out today with a little teaser by showing you how to create an albedo map quicker than this video will run. Let me quickly introduce myself on that thought. Insomnia from Blender Tech and welcome to the first video in a series to come on modern PBR rendering theory and example. With that said, let's get started. I have open Photoshop, although you could use the GIMP or any sort of other image editing software that has the layer blending. I have open bitmap 2 material 3.0 the latest version so we can compare what a automatic program would have. I have open game textures and you can see that if you wanted to get some of these maps yourself it is quite expensive. However, we have CG textures. Well, I can't give out the textures myself. You can, of course, sign up yourself for free. And we are going to take one today and convert it from a regular photo or texture. And we're going to convert it to a albedo map. I'm not going to go into any theory today. We're just simply going to do that. So we're just going to, let's just find something floor, like say some sort of ground. We'll go for some gravel. Let's go cobble and see if there's anything interesting. This one right here is actually just fine itself. It does have some reflection off rock, but has lots of dark little crevices. So I'm going to download a large one and we are going to convert it. So as you can see, there's lots of little crevices and dark spots in here where an ambient occlusion map and crevice map would come in nice. And you can see there are a few slight highlights off of light, but it's actually a fairly well uh, captured image. However, there's always going to be lighting information in a photograph or a texture. Now in Albedo map, you want absolutely no lighting information. You want the rendering engine to do all of the lighting calculations in PBR materials. So let's open up this image in Photoshop and I'm gonna convert it from a background. Now, this is the three easy steps. All we need to do is duplicate the layer. So just make sure it's selected and hit Control J. That will give us a duplicate. We want to desaturate it with Control Shift U. So that will get rid of all of the color information. Then we want to invert it with Control I. So that will make obviously all the light parts darker and all the dark parts lighter. And as you can see, we have a lot of dark in this image because it's become very bright now and you can, you can see it when it's inverted. Now that means that this is not the greatest texture to do it in this quickly and easily, but it will still get us a better result than the start. So then all we need to do is just change our blending mode here from normal to soft light. And you can see much of the lighting detail is removed. If I get rid of that layer, you can see how how, how much of a difference it makes. It really flattens out the lighting information and you don't lose any of the details in the image. You can see the pixels are all still there just as they would be. The lighting is just equalized. This is a very quick trick. All you would need to do is then hit Control E to merge them and you have yourself an albedo map. So we'll just keep that there and we will open up bitmap to material that is substances um, professional program for doing basically the same thing. So let's drop that image in. Alrighty so all we have to do in here is we can go to the diffuse and we can just turn up the light cancellation. As you can see, that goes quite extreme, but you can see how it achieves the same result. It basically just flattens the image out. Now we don't want to go too strong. That gets a little bit too crazy, but somewhere in the halfway mark, and you can always use the light equalizer under global. And again, that can go quite far. We'll go about halfway on that and halfway on that. So let's save this out now. We will sit, uh, we can just copy it to clipboard even, I believe. Go back into Photoshop. We will make a new image, perfect. And as you can see, 
they are both very flat. This one had just has just kept a lot more of the color detail. However, they're really very similar in the effects that you will achieve. Another way to compare them, of course, is just to bring one right over top of the other. As you can see, the lighting details really quite the same if, if you compare them. So that's a quick way to make an albedo map from a texture. All you need to do is bring in your texture. I'm going to do a brick this time. You can see it has lots of highlights, lots of crevices, lots of AO to deal with. We're going to convert it from background. We're going to duplicate it, Control J. We're going to saturate it, Control Shift U. Desaturate it, sorry. We're going to invert it, Control I. And then we're going to hit it with some soft light. And as you can see, that's removed a lot of the highlights. In fact, we've even gotten what appears to the eye to be more color detail in the end. That's a very good example of how, how this works very well. And we could compare it to something professional from game texture. And as you'll now see, really, they've obviously done a lot better job. Again, I can't give this texture away, but as you can see, Compared to the original, we have a much closer example of an albedo map. And so that is really a quick way to start in PBR texturing. That will get you your albedo map very quickly and easily. Now, of course, the, uh, the proper way to go through this would be to start with your base image and manually go through with a, with a graphics tablet and you would be manually dodging and burning all day long until you remove all the lighting information playing with levels and curves and it it can be quite a process it will get you a much nicer result in the end but it is very very tedious so that is just my quick little trip i wanted to start this series with in the next episode we will go over all of the theory behind P well not all the theory but all the theory you should need to know behind pbr rendering we'll go through what albedo maps are ao maps cavity maps um we'll go through the difference between metallic and specular um and we'll go through the differences between the uh, old diffuse and albedo maps, the old specular and new specular, and just everything in general and how, how light works, basically. So that is all for now. I'm going to leave you guys off there. Thanks for watching from the team here at Blender Tech. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're on social media and the link's on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests, so we'll see you next time. And remember, create your way.